Hi, this is Milf. Hello, I'm Joel. Hello, I'm Johnny. I'm Dandy. I'm Duncan. It's Marcus. Pleasure I did. And uh, it's all right. I mean, it started off with the usual cliches that we all got sick of within the first five minutes, but then it actually develops into a. Uh, Quite a nice little fantasy adventure. Oh, look at that. Yeah, she can swim, she can fly, she can use magic, but it's all kind of done quite cleverly. It's not like, you know, you're not pulling spells out of the inventory or something like that. She has to do little hand gestures. And, uh, so, is it this is an action adventure then? It's not an RPG? Yeah, it's definitely an action adventure. Yeah, okay, with dragons. Yeah. Do you agree with dragons? <laughs> yeah, she, I mean, she's got a lot of the same moves as Lara, but. Um, She's not as robust in the sense that, you know, look, the jumping's not, not as clever and kind of, you know, hanging off ledges isn't, isn't you know, well executed. She has been developing for ages. It's been around for a long time. It's, yeah. it's been out on PC, but, you know, this is the second version of the game, so... Yeah. So what's the idea? My idea is that oh, something's coward. been stolen from somewhere and once again you've got to battle everything to get it back. These lot have uh, got a rune which allows you to uh, open up the gates, but th this is the best bit of the game. And the brilliant thing is is that as you land, you can jump straight off and uh, it's all, all the same engine. There's no loading times between the different levels. So, you know, it's very good.